But the facts are what is more interesting to me, and that is that we had been warned that this was coming. They had asked for security. They did not get it, and now our ambassador is murdered. You know? With us now is a senior fellow at CSIS, International Security Program. Uh, program. He is Rick Nelson. Uh, Rick, for his part, has been a former Navy helicopter pilot with 20 years of intelligence experience, including assignments with the United States Security Council and the National Counterterrorism Center. Rick served in Afghanistan as well, sir. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Shep. They want to talk about all the political stuff. That's not very interesting to me. What, what is interesting to me, and, and might be interesting to the people who are at home watching, as some of them with their jaws drop, is that, first of all, the man who's in charge of the security detail there has said from the very beginning, and toward the testimony, that we don't have the security we need for our Americans whom we sent over there to serve us. And then the terrorists struck us at that spot in Benghazi, but nobody told us about it. And then they put on Facebook that they were going to attack again, and nobody told us about it. And then they attacked again, and then they told us it wasn't an attack, it was a looking at video, and they got a little bit excited. Something ain't right here, sir. Is it going on like this around the world as we nation build and do whatever we're doing all over the world? Or all of our yeah, people you know sitting what? there? That sounds absolutely right. But you know what it reminds me of? 1993 at the World Trade Center. They came over here and tried their damnedest to murder everyone in the building that time. So what did we do? We increased security, blah, blah, blah. They declared, declared war on us, holy war on us. They said, we're coming, we're coming. And then they came and we acted all, ex all surprised. This is shocking, certainly, but surprising, really? After they told us they were going to do it, we're surprised? Nobody can be surprised. That is a very sophisticated this. attack, and I'm not sure whether we had three people on the ground or five security well, guards. Well, we only had on one, according to testimony sure. today. One American security guard for our ambassador to Libya. By the way, the man who helped, quote, free the Libyan people. You know what else I thought was really interesting? The question was asked, by, I believe, by Representative Chaffetz how many surface-to-air missiles, shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles that can shoot mm -hmm. down our jets. How many of them are missing or unaccounted for? And when he asked the question, I'm like, wow, I wonder what that number is. Five or 10, 20? Between 10 and 20,000. And we've got diplomats over there just hanging out, ready to be murdered? I, I, what are Does we doing? Do that? And here's <laughs> why I say it. Because what the terrorists did first was they came and put a bomb on the wall, and they blew the wall out. Oh, well, we can blow the wall out. Let's see if they change security. And we didn't. Now they've murdered our ambassador. We don't seem to be learning from our mistakes. We didn't learn about 93 when 2001 came mm -hmm. around. We didn't learn about that first attack when they came in and murdered the first ambassador murdered overseas since 1979. It just seems like we may be trying to do a little bit too much, doesn't it, sometimes? Maybe we're trying well, we to do too much around the world. Well, we have a very persistent and a very adapted enemy, and the war against Al Qaeda and the war against terrorism is is not is far from over. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to remain committed to this, as we saw by this attack. There are individuals out there who continue to seek to harm the United States, to harm its citizens and facilities, and we need to remain vigilant and we need to fund and resource that capability to do so. Yeah, and, and the, the, what, a part of the testimony is today that the Republicans in the House cut back on the security. We don't know about that. This is all going to be election stuff. This is all going to be Republicans yelling at Democrats and Democrats blaming. That's that's what they do. But they seem to be scored, sort of skirting over the fact that the terrorists told us they were coming to Benghazi. They blew up the wall. They told us we're on the way. We left one security guard there, and a man who risked his life for years and years for the people of Libya got blown up by them. And now there are 10 to 20,000 surface to air missiles ready to shoot our jets out of the sky. And where are we going? Going back to Libya. I don't understand it. Thank you, sir. I hope it works out just perfectly, but it doesn't much look like it.